So just to introduce you guys, this is Miguel. He's actually a character in the show, The Little Walker, but he's also the coach for this amazing <coughs> team. So when the artistic director said we can do something live, maybe two days later, someone from this team mentioned they were doing these amazing feats. So because of that, we said, okay, we have to jump on it. So the amazing thing about this team, it keeps getting younger and younger. So I think that's why they're so bold. <laughs> um, but I'll let them introduce themselves, and if you feel like uh, you know you need a spelling, feel free to ask, and we'll go from there. So we'll start from here. Just your name and a little bit of. My name is Eva. I'm from Brazil. I'm 27 years old. Been here for five years, and I love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zane. Uh, I'm from the U.S. from New York, and I've been here about five and a half years. I am Victoria. I'm from Guatemala, 20 years old, and been doing this for 10 years. Hi, my name is Sandro. I'm born in Peru. I grew up in here in Texas, and um, I've been working in here in, in La Nuba for 11 years. Well, this, this is Lucian. Sandro for he's from Brazil as well, and he's the shy one of the group, as you can see. Yeah, <laughs> he's the, the shy one. So. Uh, ¿Cuántos años llevas volando? ¿Ah, volando? Uh -huh. No sé. <laughs> ¿Cómo cuántos? Ah, uh, yo creo que como unos siete. No, cinco, siete. He's been siete, flying cuatro. for about seven years. Hola, mi. Uh, my name is Renato Fernandez. I'm from Brazil as well. I've been in La Nuba for about four years. I've been doing trapeze my whole life, as my dad was a trapeze artist when I was born. And uh, I love it. That's <laughs> all I know. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jonathan Gonzalez, the Chile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's the one who doesn't speak English, no. but he's not the shy one. Of the <laughs> <laughs> no. ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes trabajando aquí? Tengo dos. Voy para los tres años, dos años, dos años y ocho meses más o menos. Sí, muy bonita experiencia. Vuelo, estoy en el trapecio desde los ocho años que ya trabajo y soy de circo tradicional. De muy chiquito comenzamos. Primero te pintan la carita de payaso y después te empiezan a enseñar acrobacias. Y, bueno. y de ahí para adelante te suben ya al acto que uno de los actos más peligrosos que tiene el circo, que viene siendo el, el trapezo. So I'll translate for that. He said that he's uh, started his uh, generation, his, his family had a circus in Chile, and so he started as clown and started doing trapeze since he was like seven years old, eight years old. Victor? Uh, my name is Victor Buriak. I came from Russia. Uh, before I did outdoor sport, now I'm a circus performer as uh, 16 years already. I came here in 1999 and I love what I'm doing now, and the best what I can do. I am uh, Justin Chadkowski. I'm the Floridian of the troop here, uh, originally from West Palm Beach. I've been doing trapeze for 20 years now and uh, been in circus uh, probably about 25. Um, been here just a little bit over a year and a half at Lanuba here catching uh, with all these guys and uh, loving what we're doing and excited to have you all here and show you what we got. Great, so, so feel free, the floor is open. So I mean, who would be the best person to, to talk about the, the two specific um, tricks that are going to be on Thursday's show? Miguel here. So um, we, have, we have like a pretty talented team and we're having a lot of fun right now um, everybody these two young ladies are doing triple somersault which is uh, rare uh, they do also double A um, my friend right here he, uh, Sandro he's been flying for a long time he did three and a half which is also very rare so that's normally the the traditional uh, trick is the triple somersault so he's, he's working on three and a half um, my friend Janino here, he's also one of the few people to have caught the quadruple somersault, which is what they were trying right now as well. Um, Jonathan, he's the one that is doing the quadruple somersault as well. And um, Renato Fernandez here from Brazil, he's probably the only one that has done a, a double double to the legs, which is two somersaults in a layout position with two twists, and not just to the hands, but to the legs. So. Right now we're having a, a, a good time. Everybody's uh, yeah. pretty excited, and it's kind of it's nice. I've been I've been around trapeze for a long time, and so whenever you can you can get a, a group of people with with such talent together and just come and 
as you saw in the trainings, and just motivate each other and kind of it, it, it definitely makes our job a lot more fun and it's it's a lot more exciting. And so um, for the show on Thursday, we're going to do uh, triple. We're going to start with triple and then we're going to start with um, double, double and a half, which is the the rare trick and also the quadruple somersault. And hopefully everything can come together <laughs> and, uh, and it will be something very special, very special for everybody to be a part of. Where are you from, Miguel? I'm originally from Mexico. Yeah, Yes. Is it harder to catch somebody or to fly? Justin? <laughs> Justin, Justin actually did both, so yeah. maybe he can give you. I started out as a, a flyer, like all of these guys here. Uh, I flew for a little bit over 10 years and caught uh, double, double, and triple. I had a, a really good catcher, yeah, which I learned with that family. And then I took time off there, and uh, then I became a catcher but a little over six years ago now. Um, they say that uh, most the best the good catchers all start out as flyers because they can see the tricks a lot, you know, a lot better. So, um, with that being said, I like catching a lot better than flying. It's a little bit less stressful. Uh, these guys, they, they, they have to put their tricks or try to put them the best that they can so we can catch them. So, yeah, I like catching a lot better. <laughs> yes? Um, well, yeah, right now, for example, we, we have, depending that we have two catchers, and so then we have, we have um, all these flyers, and so we go through a rotation. So we normally rotate from, we start with the rotation on Friday, and then the same group of flyers will, will fly for the, for the same catcher, and it'll, and it'll fly Friday, Saturday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we switch again the rotation of different flyers. Just that way everybody kind of has the opportunity to stay fresh, stay active, you know, and stay motivated. And so generally depending on who's flying, like for example today um, Sandra will fly, he'll do the first solo and then Renato. Then uh, we'll focus on try to get them ready for the, for the show and then everybody has something that they're working with. Like I mentioned, the girls are working at double A's and triples. Janino's working on his quadruple, he's working on his three and a half. Uh, Lucian's working on, on just pretty much staying consistent with the two tricks that he's throwing in the show, because he throws two tricks. And so just pretty much kind of try to balance it out between all the flyers and the catchers as well. Yes. So there was a point where a lot of noise was made. Have you like done the trick yet and caught, like, that you're tra attempting to do? And did you do it here today, or have you done it yet? Um, well, we made a lot of noise when my friend caught his uh, double double and a half because none of us had ever seen it before, and so he was obviously excited. So he made a lot of noise when he come when he came back. Um, so yeah, we do we do things that that's the exciting thing because we as together as a group, you see what the hard work and what what each person's trying to achieve and trying to to, uh, to accomplish. So when someone is successful doing that, we Everybody all kind of goes, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> So you, you heard you heard a little bit of uh, of all that hooting and hollering and stuff. So that's that's the excitement that, that we have for, for one another. Is she talking about when uh, our friend Jonathan went into the apron over there? I think that's the part of well, <laughs> our, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There was that, some extra excitement. Yeah, yeah. That's extra excitement because <laughs> Originally, once you make it past the, that was very rare that you saw. Once you make it past the center, the chances of you actually making it back are are greater. And so none of us were really expecting him to go flying like he did. And that's actually something very rare. That's exciting too. Yeah, that's exciting, so. For us, but I don't think for him because he's really pretty high. Yes. Yes. Um, I can imagine that it's really a bonding experience working together. So, um, do you socialize a lot outside of the performance <laughs> as well? Yeah, very much. <laughs> it was like it was actually uh, Victoria's 20th birthday on Sunday, so mm -hmm. we, we, we had a together. little bit together. Um, 
But we do, we try to every now and then, and there's a lot of people here in the show, and there's also some, like, always something going on, and, but everybody else has their, their routines or their lives, or, or some people have families, and so it's just, it depends on what's, what time of season or what's kind of happening. That, like some of you are coming from families where this is, um, you know, your heritage. But is everybody from a family where you, or like, how do you get into this line of work? Um, I was. Okay. Well, I'm um, I'm third, gener third generation flying trapeze. So my uncles taught me how to do trapeze, and we we used to I used to go play around. Um, in the backyard, we used to have the rigging trapeze rigging, and we used to go and play around. That's our playground. When I got serious around 16, uh, 15, I got serious practicing. My uncle said, okay, I think you're ready for doing shows. I was like, okay, is that going to get paid? I said, yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> so that's how I started a third generation fan trapeze. So. And it's actually a uh, trapeze. Is, it's a very traditional uh, circus act, like high wire and a will of death. So, like, for example, for, for Cirque du Soleil and La Nuba, and it's, it's considered like a specialty uh, specialty act, whereas Power Trap or some of the other ones, there's a wider base of like backgrounds with gymnastics, tumbling and stuff, but since uh, trapeze is more of a traditional circus act, uh, all of us with the exception and rareness of Zane and uh, Victor uh, and Justin, well you kind of fall somewhere in the... Yeah. <laughs> But everybody, everybody, like I'm fifth generation, he's third generation. I'm third, but I'm the first trapeze flyer in my family. I'm also sixth generation, but we're the first trapeze flyer. Sixth generation? Yeah. And Zane, how did you? Um, I actually started trapeze at a summer camp that had a circus program. Um, and then I came through kind of trapeze schools. There's some acrobatic and trapeze schools coming up in the, all around the U.S. Um, but like Miguel said, you, you really need to, it's a very traditional circus art, so you really need some circus exposure to, I feel like, to really get into it. Um, so I got a couple gigs in more traditional circus and I was fortunate enough to work with some trapeze families. So I had the training from the trapeze schools and then once I got to work in traditional circus with the families is when I started really performing and understanding what it is to train for, for shows every day instead of just training at, at a school and doing littler, different kinds of shows. So I needed both to get to this point for sure. Yes? Aside from actually practicing on the trapeze, is there cross-training that you do to keep getting better, like to that next level? Yeah, um, everybody has their own routines that, uh, that, you know, that they do in order to, to maintain. We've all been doing it for a long time, uh, so we feel when we need to maybe step up a little bit more or if we're trying to uh, accomplish a skill that's that much more difficult then we have to push uh, a little bit harder and so oh, yeah. Go ahead. it's like me um, I love McDonald's a lot, cheeseburger. <laughs> I quit my cheeseburger because I really want to do the quadruple again, I start running again so getting a point if you want to get better and better you gotta like work hard you know like that's why we are so happy today because the quadruple is a special trick. It's so hard to catch. When every time somebody catches it, it doesn't matter how many people catch it, everybody gets happy, everybody gets excited. Especially him, you know, he caught and he lost the trick right there. You know, this, this trick is so hard and it's, sometimes it's so close, but it doesn't happen. And, but it will happen again. It will. <laughs> yes. What do, you, what do you give your chances to do these two maneuvers on Thursday? What, what odds do you have? Do you think you make it, or do you think it's going to be tough? Or? Uh, I'd like to think I'm an optimistic person. I feel like I'm also very realistic. And having said that, I feel very confident. I don't think, I mean, we've all had conversations, and I don't think we would be... We, we would be doing all of this if we didn't feel that our chances were, were that great. You know, obviously, just him opening with triple, like it's that's a lot of that's a lot of pressure on his own because he's got to start something, and you want to have that good start. So, like as a, as a whole, like for it to come together, it's 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 going to be like an amazing thing to be a part of and to witness. But uh, I really feel confident, and I think everybody feels confident that uh, 
that you know we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So well, especially with the triple too, you know, a lot of uh, traditional circus and acts like that <coughs> is a trick that usually finishes an act. You know, yeah. in traditional trapeze act is the the biggest trick. Is a trick that you finish the act with. You know, and call it a day. And he's so confident, you know, that he's gonna do it first. He'd be opening an act with this, so that you very, very rare to see somebody opening an act with a trip. But, like but so. to answer your question, I think we're we're all very confident, and oh, we yeah. think we're gonna pull it off. Will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Is the attempt gonna be integrated into the normal performance, or is the performance gonna kind of pause so the audience is aware of what's happening? No, it it'll be a show like <laughs> like a show tonight, um, but. The the action, it'll, it, the energy could, could, will be felt by by the the people, um, but the show itself is pretty much just like any other show. Just the tricks are different. There might be there might be a little bit more pause in between setting up one trick to the other, or the act might be a little bit longer, but nothing nothing that other people wouldn't you know. There isn't going to be anything special other than the act itself. You had a question? Uh, well. Uh, <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, one question. Yes. Uh, doing the shows for so long, many of you have been with CERT for a long time. How do you maintain the excitement and the focus night in, night after night, outside of the fact that if something goes horribly wrong, you crash the floor? But after a while, you get used to that. How do you go through every night with the same energy and focus? Um, well, we try a lot of new things, <laughs> that's for sure. I've been working here for 11 years, so my excitement is to come here in training and trying to learn a different trick. Every, I cut a trick, a new trick, and I try to learn another trick, so that's my excitement to come, so okay, tomorrow I cut this trick, and tomorrow I have another trick, and that's my excitement to keep me going, because if I stuck in only one, okay, I just come here, do only one trick, and I don't have to do anything else, kind of lose my my excitement, so every day, every training for me is another trick better, another trick better, and that's why I keep going. Awesome. Yeah. For I even years. I feel like no matter how many times you do it, if you love it, it's still going to be exciting. Because we all love it, and we're not tired of doing it every day. But yeah, doing things like this, you know, I think that kind of keeps it. Keeps it, keeps us motivated, keeps it, keeps us going. And this guy too, this, 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 our coach today, he's a good one, he's motivated us and for, he's for, awesome. For me it's kind of, it's, it's, it's very exciting to just, I, I mean I love trapeze, I, st I, I started doing trapeze when I was seven and I worked here eight years and stuff, so to still be a part of that, it's, it's amazing for me. How often do the tricks in your daily show change? Um, they change, uh, the actual tricks don't really change as much as the people that, that, that do it. Like we always, like, like he was saying, our finishing trick is always the triple somersault, you know, and then Juninho will, uh, they have rotations between Juninho, uh, Renato, and Jonathan, and then we have uh, double A, which is the first solo trick that it's uh, Sandro and another gentleman, uh, his name's Danny. And then we have uh, Zane and Victoria doing a uh, uh, double, and they're the ones that usually start the routine. But uh, the tricks don't necessarily change as much. Uh, the people doing it and the catchers are the ones that vary. Good. All right. Espanol. Yeah. Uh, Se llevan bien todos, o a veces le cae alguien más. <laughs> no, todos nos llamamos. Eh, bueno, el grupo como. La mayoría de los trapecistas tenemos la misma edad y como tenemos esa relación de, de circo, el circo eh, en general, circo tradicional es como familia. Él conoce a mis amigos, conoce a mi familia. Sin, antes de que yo llegue acá, él ya conocía a familia mía, había trabajado. Y me dice, oye, yo conozco a tal persona y, y el circo se relaciona mucho en ese sentido en familia. Y, y este grupo ha sido bien bonito porque nos llevamos todos muy bien y, y nos queremos como familia. So the, que the question was is uh, that he had asked is like, do you guys get along and uh, what's the relationship between the team? And uh, Jonathan had uh, explained that um, we all come from the same background, so uh, we know mutual people or we know, uh, we, we come from the same environment, so it's, it's, it makes it easier to, we have that things that can relate, that we can relate and uh, it makes it easier to get along and to appreciate one another. Go ahead. 
I was just curious if you could like break down what the actual tricks are that you're trying. Like it looks, some of it can look similar. So what, what is it exactly? Yeah, they can look similar. Um, so the the triple is three rotations to the hand of the catcher, right? Um, what Renato will will do is he normally what we have is a solo trick, which is double A. So it's two rotations in a straight position to the hands of the catcher. So what he's going to do is he's going to do those two rotations plus add two twists to those two rotations and instead of going to the hands he's going to go to the legs. And then uh, the quadruple is right now like what the triple used to be in the 1930s, 40s, 50s. You know it's like for, for someone to come into a circus or to a show and to actually just see someone attempt it, it's, it's very rare. And at the moment, um, just these two guys are, are really attempting it to, to, to try and catch it. He actually caught it um, in, in the show before. So till this day, there's only a handful of people who have actually been able to successfully do that trick in the show. From the triple to the quadruple, just one more somersault. But the somersault is so hard to land on. It's so hard to, to do it. Um, it seems like normal just one more somersault, but it's so, so hard. It is, it is really hard. It's, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard emotionally and it's hard for the body. So yeah. There's just a lot of emotions in there. And when you're not doing good, your emotions go trust. And that's what we're here to support him to say. You got it, man. It's almost there. One more. You know, one Thank more, and, and that's what he goes to try it again. And that's what everybody's all about to, you know, help each other and motivate each other. Because if we, if we don't do that, you know, we just we go and suffer inside. You know, because this is so much passion that we put it in the trick that, that sometimes it kills us. Uh, actually, like for me, one of the things that I love the most about trapeze is that it's very physical. Of course, as you guys can see, but. As he mentioned, it's also very, like, emotionally hard, you know, because, you know, you have your fear to overcome, you have your, you know, just a lot of things that, that, uh, that you have to manage. And psychologically, uh, trapeze is, it's, you always have to, like, you always have to be there, you always have to keep yourself motivated, and you always have to keep yourself fresh. Great, any more questions? One more question?